Hi, I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. This video, I'm continuing my analysis into my aesthetics lecture, and um, I, I have some interesting things that I want to discuss in this particular segment, the implications of which won't be realized for a few more hours. But I just preface the few introductory seconds of this, this installment that you're watching now. Um, so that you can make a mental note, or if you're actually taking notes along with my notes, that you can put a little star by your notes to remember the stuff that I'm going to say in this lecture. Um, it's going to, it'll be important later, uh, and I'll talk about the, the applications of some of the concepts later. Again, this is, a, this is going to be a, a, a rather conceptually, rigorously dense analysis of aesthetics, though user-friendly, um, and I just want to begin by letting you know that, you know, just take note of what I'm about to lecture on. Um, that aside, here are the books. Uh, yesterday, when I gave the first part, I didn't have this book with me, so here are the two books. I had someone ask me how many pages of this book is. This book is uh, like 750 pages. This book is, whoopsie, this book is uh, about... Uh, around the same, around 680. So, um, it's about 1,400 pages. I'm not going to read um, all of the books back to back. I'm going to select chapters that I think are relevant to the stuff that I'm interested in and also relevant to my overarching pedagogical <laughs> evil conspiracy. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to select certain chapters and not. I wanted to present um, a balanced account because I got comments from some of my, my, my viewers, and I, and I love my viewers, shout out to the viewers, because it's a bunch of nerds, right? And I wouldn't be able to be what I am without a bunch of nerds helping to guide me. So there's a lot of people guiding this ship. It's not just me, and I, I cannot in any sense take credit for all of this. Um, this book is more continental. This book is more sort of analytic, unfortunately philosophy is part of this sort of ridiculous binary opposition that Nietzsche so badly tried to destroy. Um, so I wanted to offer a balanced account to the analytic approach, which is the main link in video one to, to the um, Amazon page to order the book. The other link sends you to this book that says click the text in order to get the second book. This is the book that you'll get. So these are the two books that I'll be using to do this aesthetics series. <laughs> um, the coffee's uh, uh, apparently kicking in. Shout out to Dunkin' Donuts, who isn't paying me at all to say shout out to Dunkin' Donuts. But you got to give a shout out to the to, to the company that uh, America runs on Dunkin'. I'm here to tell you that America runs on. <laughs> uh, I've been doing this for a while, so it's it's like you know, uh, you know, formality aside, we're just gonna we're gonna have fun. Because, I mean, in the end, that's what this is really all about, right? Because um, we'll be maggot food one day anyway, so might as well uh, not take life so damn seriously. With that being said, we are going to begin section 1.1 of my analysis, as you guys know, in order to get access to the notes that I've um, created. Uh, and these notes will be growing. I didn't check my tie. Is the back of this right? These, these notes will be growing. These notes are, are organic. So, as the lecture series continues, I'll add more to I'll add more to the notes. Also, it's important to recognize that I'm currently doing this series in conjunction with with five with four other series. So I'm going to devote two hours. This installment will complete two hours, and then I'll jump to um, my political theory um, my political theory ana analysis. Then I'll jump to meta theory analysis, then I'll go back to epistemology, right? So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually pleased with how everything's going. The energy of the universe is it, it's pretty good. And uh, hopefully the aesthetics series is, uh, is gratifying. So, enough of the blah, blah, blah. I hope you're ready. I know I'm ready. Let's put on our thinking caps and uh, start to think. Okay, so this is going to be aesthetics intro to Intro to the aesthetics. This is section 1.1. In my notes, click the link in the description. It'll take you to the notes. Make sure you always have the most up-to-date version of the notes. Okay. This is this is high.
Heidegger, right? <laughs> this is Mr. Dasein, right? This is Mr. hyphenated phrase words. This is Mr. Complexity, right? Those of you who understand what Heidegger does, I mean, I haven't really in my life yet tackled Heidegger outside of this bit, right? His, his canonical text, I'm not going to lie, of all the philosophical texts, he and Schopenhauer are the two that I haven't really read at all. Uh, I'm going to wait till I'm more mature in my philosophical sort of steepness before I even crack open Heideggerian texts because Heidegger is no joke. Um, his analysis at this level, I spent an hour in the first installment lecturing on a paragraph. <laughs> and I could have probably done another 30 minutes, right? I spent an hour on a paragraph. Heidegger's no joke. His, he's a bona fide machine. <laughs> he's completely lost to the Matrix. But I got you gotta give him credit, right, for for taking his obvious, you know, genius level analytic ability and applying that to um, a rather abstract notion of aesthetics, right? What does it mean when we're talking about aesthetics? And I already had a really insightful comment yesterday. I forget the, the guy's name. Actually, I think I remember the guy's name, uh, or the person's name, the username. The, the comment was something along the lines of, well, we know that we're trying to establish and understand what art is as such, what it is as it is, as Heidegger says, right? which basically means what art is as such, but the comment, which was a very insightful comment, thanks for your comment, I obviously took your comment to note, I was thinking about it on the drive over here at this bizarre early time in the morning, and I was thinking to myself, you know, the, the comment was, well, isn't that just an identity? Doesn't it just become tautological? The assumption is I want to explain what art is as it is, I want to understand what art is as such, I give you a definitional account of what I think, subjectively speaking, you know, art is. Isn't that tautological, right? In a sense, it could be, but Heidegger's masterful. He's, he's extremely masterful. So what we'll do, and what I'll encourage you to do, and remember what I just said a few minutes ago, is put a little asterisk by this lecture. To be honest with you, I'm really vibing the aesthetics lecture. It's not the community either, because I just put it up, right? I haven't gotten a lot of commentary back from the viewers. But the, the material itself is like, ooh, this is going to be fun for me. Years from now, looking back at myself doing this lecture, just learning things that I'm overlooking as I'm presenting it. Um, this bit's going to be pretty interesting. And it begins with the thingly element. <laughs> this is not the right, it's out of here, so... The T H I N G L Y, you know, philosophy in all of its grandeur. The thingly elements. The thingly elements. Okay. Number one, what art is should be inferable from the work. Right? We're now using this text, page 87. So, what art is should be, hopefully you have your books now, right? Because you can follow along. That's the whole point. <laughs> don't take my word for it. And don't read somebody else's commentary on Heidegger. Who cares about what they said? Read the commentary yourself. <laughs> read Heidegger yourself. And you come up with an assessment based on what I've said, based on what Heidegger says. Dr. Campbell, I agree. Dr. Campbell, I don't. Dr. Campbell, I think this happens. Dr. Campbell, I think you're wrong. I don't care if, either way, get the book, read for yourself. That's the whole point. So we're using this one, not the other one at this level. We'll return balance to the nature of the lecture at a later point in the future. What art is, what it is as it is, what art is as such, should be inferable from the work, right? So what we recognize in this is that um, there exists, uh, if I spell, it's there exists a relation B slashes between, there exists a relationship between the is-ness, the is-ness, what art is, the existence, the existential, ontological, more ontological, reality of the being of art, what it is to be art, what art is, right, to be, if you will, what 